Well, student is giving back to her school in a big way, donating more than $2,000 to help improve classmates' access to mental health and wellness resources. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis is live at Prattville High School this morning. Bethany, tell us how she raises money and how it will be used there. Yeah, so she raised $2,500 through the nonprofit that she started over the summer. It's called the Youth Wellness Foundation. Julia Griffin is here with us this morning, along with Prattville High School's principal, Dr. Daniel Ferris. Let's talk first about this money that you raised. $2,500 is a significant chunk of change. How did you come up with that? Well, my parents own a small technology business, and I work for them. And I saw that their business partners donate to nonprofits to try to do something good with their revenue. And I decided to create a nonprofit and ask them to donate to my cause that I'm so passionate about. Well, let's talk a little bit about why you are so passionate about bringing better access to mental health resources for, for your friends, for your classmates, and why you wanted to donate that much money back to your school. Well, I wanted to make a positive impact before I left, and I've seen what students go through and how much pressure there is to be a lot of different things in high school. And I knew that kids needed more access to mental health resources. Yeah, what a, what a really wise decision to make. Dr. Ferris, talk a little bit about how far you can make $2,500 go and how you're going to put that money to work. Yes, we're so thankful for Julia and the money that she has worked to donate to Prattville High School. Um, we're going to do a couple different things with that. One is we're selecting about 15 teachers in our building that will go through a youth mental health first aid training so that we have more folks in our building that are ready and equipped to work with students that are struggling with mental health. Also, we have an organization here called Peer Helpers. There's about 25 students in our Peer Helpers program. They've been interviewed. They have went through an extensive application process, and they have been trained on um, helping students that may have problems. It might not just be mental health, but any type of problem, if a student is uncomfortable approaching an adult, they can approach a peer helper, and we're gonna use some of this money to um, buy identification badges for, and lanyards for, for backpacks, and also our peer helpers are e easily recognized throughout our school. Yeah. So thank you, Julia. It's such important programs and such an important issue to tackle all on your own. That organization that you started, the Youth Wellness Foundation, by the way, it is dedicated to promoting both not just mental, but also physical, emotional well-being, particularly for young people that are in underserved communities and schools, guys. A very bright girl there, Bethany. And we'll get a link to the Youth Wellness Foundation's website on our website, WSFA.com, so you can learn more and donate.